Welcome again. Today we would be covering the last class for the expected question and we'd be covering that for computers. Now under computers, last time there was a question of conversion from fraction to binary. Again that's important for this time. We have covered that in detail in this video. So just go through that. So conversion from binary to decimal, decimal to binary. Uh, then you have hexadecimal and octal conversions which are important. The next is computer malware and protection. Recently you had the WannaCry and the ransomware that were in use. Again the difference between worm and virus so all that has been covered in this lecture besides this there are some important terms that you must be familiar with the first is phishing phishing basically says that you have a kind of art, uh, similar platform that appears to be exactly the same but it's not the real platform so let's say you are trying to log into the banking website of bank abc and the page that comes up is exactly the same as the page of the banking website abc but that's a different link ultimately on the top you can see a kind of different link and that link would kind of steal all your information and that is what is phishing it gives you an actual feeling that it's a kind of real website that you are visiting the next is snooping evasive snooping or sniffing this basically explains the unauthorized access to someone's data or someone's information the next is denial of service denial of service means uh, let's say there is any government portal or something and there is unwanted uh, continuous attack on it so as the server cannot respond to it and the service closes down and stops for a while and that is what is denial of service the next is day zero day zero vulnerability says that it's the day when the vulnerability is out or disclosed in the public so any patch or any correction that has to be done in the software should be done before that day ip spoofing means uh, basically it's the ip that is being manipulated so it's your ip address that is being used by someone else and that is what is known as ip spoofing the next important terms include comes in, under the data protection and security so you have five terms that we would be talking about of that two the authentication and the authorization talks about or proves the legitimacy so under authentication you try to explain uh, if the person who is logging in or moving is exactly who it should be so under authentication let's say biometrics otp username password all this explains the actual person the actual person who who he or she is and that is what is authentication so it can be by retinal scan fingerprinting face detection or one time password the next is authorization under authorization you have a list of permissions that are to be granted to the person and each person or each user would have those uh, permissions that are being set for them and that is what is known as authorization in windows we use acl that is access control list and it's important the next three encryption protection and intrusion detection are used to prevent any kind of illegal use so for example your hard disk your mobile phone sd card or something else is encrypted that means data is preserved or protected by some key usually it's a kind of public key encryption that is done then under protection is you try to protect the data by antivirus or any any other ways if there is some virus attack that ultimately comes in you have the intrusion detection that is you try to fix it in the minimum time duration the next is use of biometrics in aadhaar that's again very important we have already discussed it in the class on uh, in the last class on polity as well the next is bitcoins very very important we have covered it this time government is trying to move towards a new concept of cryptocurrency and bring that into legitimacy so that's again very important uh last january we had a kind of series of questions for computers the expected questions few of those topics are again important so just have a watch on it the next is under internet and networking we have the major terms that we have explained in this besides that you have udp which is a kind of alternative to tcp that has already been explained so udp is user data pro, uh, datagram protocol and it is basically low latency and it's a alternative to tcp then you have cgi the common gateway interface that's the common gateway through which all the information passes apranet was the prior computer then you have cookie and tracking cookie it's really important this time tracking cookie what it does is it basically tracks the information uh, the server tries to track the information of the client so let's say if you are uh, planning a visit a holiday visit or a vacation visit and you are doing constant searches 
for the vacation visits to let's say um, South India then what would happen over a time is uh, whenever you would have you would open any other web page you would have relevant information that would come out uh, for your search results and that is what is a tracking cookie so what the uh, thing is trying to do is it's basically trying to track your interest area and based on that it's trying to show off the information the next is dns that is domain name systems and that basically domain name system is again important and then you have mac mac address is basically the media access control and it's the address of the hardware you have telnet that's again very important uh, we have covered this in the last class and telnet and flipnet all those are important for your upcoming exam as well parts of the internet address so the url and all those is again important ip version 4 and 6 very very important ip version 4 is uh, 32 bit and ip version 6 is 128 bit so that's again important then under the email you have the various protocols so sometimes there is a direct question on the abbreviation so IMAP is the internet message access protocol, POP post office protocol, SMTP simple mail transfer protocol and MAPI that's message application programming interface. So MAPI is again important. Then mail merge was a question last time so all the parameters related to outlook and the functionalities are again important. View IP, voice over internet, uh, sorry, voice over IP, that's again very important. Uh, WhatsApp call or you can say Google Hangouts are all examples of via IP call. If there is any attack or misuse, you use the voice intrusion prevention system for the same. For the mobile networking, you have 3G, 4G, 4G LET and 5G technology that is upcoming. Now all these are used for mobile networking, they are not for the Wi-Fi networking. Under 3G the speed was 2 megabits per second, 4G it says ideal speed of 1 gigabit, uh, gigabits per second. Under 4G LTE that is long term evolution, uh, so this speed was not attained in 4G and under 4G LET we try to attain this speed of 1 gigabit per second, gigabit per second and under 5G we talk about 1 to 10 gigabits per second. VPN is a kind of virtual private network, so it's a network between you and your company server. So let's say you are placed here and your company is placed at another place and there are numerous packets that can go through it, but none of these is safe. So what the company does it, it creates a kind of private route or a tunnel with an end to end encryption. So you have information going from your computer or your system directly to the company system and that is what is VPN, virtual private network, very important. The next is email and web security. So there are two types of securities which we call as cryptographic protocols. Those are SSL and TLS. So SSL is secure socket layer. Then you have CRC that cyclic redundancy check that is again very important. The next comes internet and sharing. So under sharing in mass media you have peer to peer network. So basically what it does is it does not have a common server. So let's say if there is Facebook and the server of Facebook is down for one day or two day what would happen? None of you would be able to access the Facebook. So similarly happens with a that does not sorry that does not happen with a P2P network because it's peer to peer network and there is no one central server that is present. So most of the torrents work on a P2P network then you have the social networking sites the list of important social networking sites very very important some of the some of the times there is a direct question asked which of the following is not a social networking site. Then recently you had the TK Vishwanathan committee and that talked about the hate speech on the internet which explain that there should not be a kind of extreme views or hate views against anything or any specific person on internet and that was the recommendation of the TK Vishwanathan committee. committee. The next is Commons Office. Under this we have uh, different categories. Now we will talk about browsers. Sometimes most of the students get confused between what is a browser, what is an operating system. So browser let's say Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla, so all those are browsers. And these browsers open up on the platform that's let's say Windows or you have Mac, uh, then you have the DOS that was the previous version. There are two open source operating systems, those are Unix and Linux. Under Linux you have the various versions as Red Hat, Ubuntu and Fedora. Then you have Mac OS X. Chrome OS, so all those are operating systems. On the mobile you have different operating systems. For Mac you have iOS, then for other phones you have Android. 
there are may, many email clients that are present so rather than opening out your email accounts directly you can have a client which can bring in all the emails from different email id onto our system so those are thunderbird netscape netscape communicator outlook opera mail mailbird eudora and postbox now it's important to note Netscape Communicator is an email client or an email program. However, Netscape Navigator is a browser. So don't get confused. So under the browsers, you have Netscape Navigator, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, Edge, EI, uh, Internet Explorer, IE, UC Browser, and Vivaldi. So these are common browsers that are known. So sometimes there is a direct question. So we have that here information. The next is copyright and plagiarism. These you all must be familiar with since you are working for a research ahead. So copyright is a major issue nowadays. Now copyright could be in two forms. First is the copyright of the content and the second is the source code or the application. So there are various source codes and the applications that are copyrighted. For example, Apache, then you have BSD, GNU, MIT, Mozilla Public License, Common Development and Distribution License. So all these are the source code or the application. Now all these are open source. The next is the content. So sometimes you have the uh, license for the content. So this content is yours and the most common under that is Creative Commons which is released by an American non-profit organization which aims to promote the creative work. So under Creative Commons you have four different types of licenses. Those are attribution, share alike, non-commercial and non-derivative. So the names again are important. Sometimes there could be a direct question which of these is not a license of Creative Commons. The next is we talk about fair use policy that means if you are using any copyrighted material you are giving due reference or due uh, courtesy to that material. So that is what is the fair use policy usually each and every content has their own fair use policy. Then you have the usage rights whether you, you can use that information that bit of information or not. Trademark. Now, some of the words are legally registered or established by use and that is what is known as trademark. So you have the trademarks for the companies, you have the trademark for the product. The next is the role of computers in the businesses. The first is business impact analysis. So it impacts the potential threat or what should be the next step in case of any emergency, disaster or accident. So let's say you had a recent WannaCry attack on one of the systems of the uh, government authority in India. What would be the next step for the government to do? And that is what is where we talk about the business impact analysis. So what would be the impact on the business? How quickly you can resolve that issue and work forward so that there is minimum loss that is occurred. The next is business continuity plan that talks about the threat and uh, assesses the kind of risk and talks about the protection. The next is crowdfunding, very very important, usually commonly seen on internet and it's a kind of P2P funding or peer-to-peer -peer funding. What ex exactly happens is it's a kind of venture capitalist who are entering or putting in money on through the internet. So you are raising money for your businesses through the internet and that is what is known as crowdfunding. Data mining, data analytics we have already talked about in the lecture. So the lecture on digital reform very very important we have talked about all the digital payments method. Uh, so the UPI, AEPS all those are very very important for this time. So digital payments, digital governance, digital signature, data mining, data analytics are all been covered. Besides this there are some important terminologies that you must be familiar with that includes artificial intelligence, machine learning, fuzzy systems, neural networks and then data warehousing is another important concept that is upcoming that talks about collecting the data or it's basically the collection of the data. The next important topic that we would be covering is CERT. CERT, the full form or the abbreviation itself is important, that's Computer Emergency Response Team. Now, this team basically talks about or handles the security issues, mainly dealing with malware and virus. In India, you have the CRTIN, that's the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team, that is 
a part of the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. It's a nodal agency that deals with the cyber threats and cyber issues. Recently it was WannaCry uh, and the ransomware that was in news. So all the issues related to hacking and phishing are part of this cert. So that's again very very important. So with this we covered the major topics under computers. All those are available at the exam race CBSC net uh, update section. So you have the handouts ready there. You can just go and refer that. If you have any doubts leave those as comment and a very good luck for your upcoming examination. Before your class we would be covering a last lecture and that would be on verbal communication. Verbal communication was important because last time you had a question on cards and Khan model and therefore we will be covering it again. Have a very good day ahead.